evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, August 21st, 2012. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, the economic outlook in Tullahoma has improved significantly as a new employer is bringing more than 100 new jobs to town. Several people in Tennessee have been sickened by a salmonella outbreak, and both of Coffee County's high school football teams opened the season with losses Friday. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. The highest standard of integrity delivers stability and honor. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of integrity in health care. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation! It's gonna be okay! Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one! Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma, come see the paint doctor stat. Since 1889, Traders Bank has been helping our neighbors realize their dreams. Whether our customers are looking to put a roof over their heads, try their hand at entrepreneurship, or see themselves behind the wheel of a shiny new car, the folks at Traders Bank have always been ready to dive in with them. Because at Traders, we lend you more than just money. We lend you our good name. Traders Bank, you're welcome. Welcome back. National Healthcare Corporation, one of the nation's leading operators of senior care services, announced last Friday that it has selected Tullahoma as the site for a new state-of-the-art health care facility. The new skilled nursing and rehabilitation facility will be located on Cedar Lane and will have 90 beds and at full operation will directly employ over 100 employees. Projected capital investment of the project will be $10.75 million. NHC President Steve Platt said, quote, we are excited to choose Tullahoma as the location of our newest facility dedicated to providing the best quality nursing and rehabilitation care to the senior residents of Coffee and surrounding counties. We appreciate the tremendous support and cooperation we have received from the city of Tullahoma and its leaders. NHC plans to begin construction on the approximately 62,000 square foot facility by the 1st of September and construction is expected to take approximately 12 months, end quote. Wages paid to employees filling the new jobs will total approximately $5.3 million, generating about $215,000 in new local tax revenues annually. The total economic impact from the facility on the Coffee County economy is projected to be $14.3 million annually, according to an economic feasibility study. National Health Care Corporation affiliate, affiliates operate for themselves and third parties 75 long-term health care centers with 9,460 beds. NHC affiliates also operate 37 home care programs, six independent living centers, and 17 assisted living communities. NHC's other services include Alzheimer's units, long-term care pharmacies, hospice, a rehabilitation service company, and providing management and accounting services to third parties. Other information can be found about the company at the company's website at nhccare.com. The Tennessee Department of Health says six people in Tennessee have been sickened by salmonella that has been traced back to cantaloupes from Indiana. The outbreak has killed two people in Kentucky and sickened at least 141 people across several states. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and Affected States are collaborating in an ongoing investigation to identify all possible sources of contamination and prevent additional causes of the illness. At this point, no cantaloupes grown in Tennessee have been confirmed to be involved in the outbreak. Deputy State Epidemiologist Dr. John Dunn said, quote, Tennesseans should ask about the origin of recently purchased cantaloupes and discard any cantaloupes grown in southwestern Indiana, end quote. 
He says he encourages anyone who becomes ill after eating the cantaloupe to see their health care provider and the providers of, uh, to be mindful of patients who have symptoms consistent with, consistent with salmonella and report all cases to the local health department. People who recently purchased ca uh, cantaloupes grown in southwest Indiana are advised not to eat them and to discard any remaining cantaloupes. Consumers can contact the store where they purchased the cantaloupe to ask about the origin of the fruit. Based on the information available, consumers can continue to purchase and eat cantaloupes that did not originate in southwestern Indiana. Inquiring at this point, inquiring at this point, the point of sale is, is advised. Many cantaloupes ha have the growing area identified with a sticker on the fruit. If no sticker is present, consumers should inquire about the source. Authorities have charged two Coffee County residents with 10 care fraud in separate investigations involving prescription drug abuse. Bonnie Mills, age 34, and Adam Lane, age 21, are each charged with one count of 10 care fraud. Investigators say Mills allegedly used 10 care benefits to obtain a stimulant while planning to sell part of the prescription. Lane allegedly used 10 care coverage to obtain an amphetamine drug that he also planned to sell. 10 care fraud is a Class E felony carrying a prison term of up to two years. Since 2005, the 10 care office of the Inspector General has charged over 1,700 with program abuse. The office has collected some three and a half million dollars in restitution. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. It is said that the eyes are the windows to the soul, and the Eye Care Center wants to make your eyes the best windows possible. The professionals at the Eye Care Center have been offering comprehensive eye care for over 30 years. From eye examinations to eye surgery, from children to seniors, we have the services you need. We pride ourselves on taking the time to fully understand our patients' wants and needs. Each patient is a unique situation and deserves our full attention and the latest treatment options. So call or stop by one of our four convenient locations and start seeing better today. Hello, I'm Jim Woodard from Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Some think that since we're a single store operation, we don't have the buying power of the mega chain or department stores. Woodard's is a part of the Master IJO Jewelers, the world's largest jewelry buying group. This gives us the power of 800 million in sales. You get the best of both worlds, the buying power of a major with the customer service of a hometown jeweler. Woodard's Diamond Showroom, inside Northgate Mall of Tallahoma. You've won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay them a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. <laughs> ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. <laughs> Hello, Trent McNabb here welcoming you to the brand new showroom at Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac in Tallahoma. And here's something they don't have across town. Come check out our brand new state-of-the-art service drive. Hello, Trey McNabb here, General Manager of Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep. My little brother gets a new building. I get ceiling tiles and a sign. You know what that means to you? Come see me. Welcome back. As summer ends and the new school year begins, many parents have questions concerning childhood vaccinations. Dr. Jeannie Santoli with the Center for Disease Control answers questions and, uh, and addresses parents' concerns. Let's watch. I really enjoy talking with people about immunizations. I'm also a mom and a pediatrician, so this is a great opportunity and I appreciate coming. Did you vaccinate your own children? I did. I have two and they're both fully vaccinated. So what's Anna up to nowadays? I just took her to get her nine-month-old shots. We were a couple of weeks late. And, you know, okay. I know, but <laughs> it's so hard. I took her in. But, you know, I was watching something on TV about um, somebody was talking about how vaccines cause autism. I mean, do vaccines really cause autism? Well, you know, autism is a very serious disease. It's heart-wrenching for families. And I think one problem is that we don't know very much about the causes of autism. There have been a number of studies that have looked at the link between autism and vaccines, either the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, or thimerosal, that's a preservative that was in a number of childhood vaccines up to 2002. And in fact, those studies don't show any link between vaccines and autism. 
you know, I feel like, especially maybe it's because I have three kids, but I feel like I'm always going to the doctor to get shots. And so sometimes I just worry that we're getting too many shots. Is that, is that really a concern? Is that a problem? You know, it's an important question because now we have probably about twice as many vaccines to protect children as we did, say, 20 years ago. So even though children do get vaccines against about 14 different diseases now when they're quite young, that's not more than the body can handle. A child puts a toy in their mouth or crawls on the floor and their immune system sees those germs, recognizes them, and teaches the body how to protect itself against them. Vaccines work in that way and they help children's bodies recognize germs that can cause very serious diseases. I have another question that's sort of related. I mean, I understand why we have to have the number of vaccines, but how about the schedule that the doctors follow? Is it really appropriate for every child? Even though there's only one childhood immunization schedule, it actually takes into account the differences between children depending on their health or medical conditions. Sometimes parents ask about delaying the vaccines in the schedule and I think it's really important for parents to understand that that can place their children at risk for getting these serious diseases. What happens if we stop vaccinating? Do these diseases really come back? the diseases absolutely will come back if we stop vaccinating. We've seen that over the past couple of years with outbreaks of mumps and measles. There was a story of a little girl who was from Indiana. She and her family went and traveled to another country. She wasn't vaccinated. She came back with measles to the United States. And because of her, she was in contact with more than 30 people who developed measles. Three of those people had to be hospitalized and one even went to the intensive care unit. I get really nervous about taking my daughter to the doctor to get shots. Is there something that I, I can do to comfort her while, you know, she's getting her shots? Well, I mean, it is hard to take your baby for shots. I know I feel that way when I take my little ones for shots, but you can hold them and cuddle them while they're getting the vaccine, and then you can hold them tightly afterwards. And actually what I found was that nursing the baby right afterwards often makes them feel comforted pretty quickly. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment. Our office used to look like this. But now with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here, a big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spends hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential uh, files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper-free, right? Thank you. My paper-free office from R.J. Young. It's that easy. Hi, I'm Kayla Thompson. For the past 15 years, you viewed my father's commercials and watched us grow up. We're here today to say thank you for your continuous support and introduce the new faces of Thompson Ford. Lori. Josh. Olivia. Nick. Michael. Nathan. Even though some of us are going off to college or moving away, we just wanted to say that you can always count on a Thompson to be a part of the community. Come and see us at Thompson Ford, Tullahoma, Tennessee. Thank you. Citizens Tri-County Bank has the checking, loans, savings, and traditional banking services you want. Plus free internet banking and bill pay, bank your change, Visa gift card, and lots more state-of-the-art banking services. We focus on the service and services you want. So you can bank when, where, and how you want. At our offices, or from just about anywhere. Citizen Shry County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of old Mexico. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Chamber of Commerce held their an after hours mixer last week at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. Let's watch video of that event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Chamber of Commerce after hours being held at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. Yeah, and this is the uh, Chamber of Commerce after hours at the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center. No, no, there you go. There she is. 
she is a membership chairman right there. She's the best in the world. Yeah. Isn't she, Ken? She is. She is, John. You're exactly We right. get validation right validation. there. Validation, yes, sir. And, of course, this is the last week for the uh, Brian Nash and Madonna Bush exhibit at the center. Look at those lovely ladies right there smiling. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? Aren't they pretty? It's the Chamber After Hours right here. There's Diane, Executive Director of the Chamber. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Garth Seagroves. The uh, President of the Fine Arts Center. Chief Chairman of the Board. Brian Seaver, Board Meeting, Board Member. And all of our lovely volunteers right here. The beautiful people. There's two of my favorites right there. There's Jody Ball. Doing good. Tom, Tom. Hi, Tom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's Diane and Renee, the executive director and president of the Chamber of Commerce. And we are at the first... Five o'clock somewhere. There after you hours. Go. After <laughs> hours. Y'all, y'all need to go in as a, as a duet. Okay. How, how we, do you think we've things have been? We've sung this song for a while. <laughs> yeah, we have. We've been plugging this. Right. How, how have things gone tonight? Great. It has. We had a great turnout. Very exciting. We had a wonderful turnout. I think everybody's had a good time. Everybody's having a good time. Yes. And you, yes. you yes. having a good time? Yes, I am. You're I good. Am. What about it, Doc? <laughs> Tell me something. We good. want to thank the Tullahoma News and SIMNS for making this possible, and we want to thank the Tullahoma Fine Arts Center for offering up a great place to have this. I think it's been wonderful for them. We've had people in here tonight that have never, never been in this facility. Uh, we've got new people in town that haven't been here, people that have lived here a lot of years, so I think that's really cool. The two artists that are being displayed, um, the Nash, um, the, 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 the portraits behind us, and then all the artwork, or all the um, jewelry with Madonna Bush has just been incredible, and the food from Emil's, and the um, beverages from Mid-South Distributing, so it's just um, a lot of great people coming together to have a good evening. Everybody's happy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Tullahoma High School held their 17th annual tailgate party last Friday prior to kicking off the 2012 football season. John Gray brings us this report. All right, we're at Tullahoma High School at the baseball parking lot, and this is the this is the uh, tailgate party for the Tullahoma Wildcat football team, and it's being put on by uh, First Vision Bank and I think Light Tube. And we're going to see just what kind of stuff we can see here. There's a great, look at that great young man right there. Uh, he's going to be a player one day. His daddy was. You know, and this is the line of people lined up to get T-shirts to where they can have the Wildcat football team sign them. Look at that good looking pizza girl there here at the uh, tailgate party. That's right. Wildcat football. Look at Joe Brown here. He's got the he's got the jams going on. Look at these guys. They're sitting here all lined up. Waiting on the pretty girls to show up. Tell them a wildcat football. Look at that. Look at them. Y'all smile now. football team. Look at them smiling. Yeah. 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 Look at these guys. Look at these good looking guys. Huh? Look at them here. Look at them here. There's my man. They're Robbie. Look at that face right there. Ah.
and the music's loud. Hear that? Look at the Wildcat football team signing t-shirts. There they are. That's the 2012 version. Continue a tradition that began 16 years ago, and uh, we just hope all these young Wildcats out here grow up to play athletics at Tullahoma High School. Thank you all very much. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Susan Sudbury and Greg Carter from the City of Tullahoma School System, who will tell us about how Tullahoma is working to replace textbooks with electronic devices. Chiropractor Dr. Ed Lawson will have some ideas on weight loss, and the Hands-On Science Center is celebrating a birthday this weekend. And would like to invite you out to celebrate it with them. All that and more on this week's Living Show. We'll be back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Are you looking for a new car dealer that offers no games, no gimmicks, no hassles? Then look no further than Russell Barnett Kia. Keith Barnett here today with my nephew Clay to tell you about the all new 2012 Kia Optima. Yours today for $21,995 after rebates and incentives. With America's best warranty, the 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. No games, no gimmicks, no hassles. My question is, tell them, Clay. Why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. A lot can change in two years, but not everything has to. With the Charter Price Guarantee, lock in low rates for two years, because sometimes it's nice to know what's on the road ahead. Welcome back. After leading 7-6 to six in the first quarter, the Coffee County offense had back-to-back -back stalled drives. One, an interception after gaining three first downs. The second, a three and out and both led to Shelbyville touchdowns. Shelbyville won the toss and elected to take the football, and for good reason. It took the Eagles' high-powered offense just six plays to put the first points of the night on the scoreboard when quarterback Braden Ward hit Tyler Eddings for an eight-yard score. The touchdown came at the 9-minute, 33-second mark in the first quarter, but the PAT was wide right, making the score 6-0 to Eagles. Then D'Angelo Rogier and the Red Raider offense went to work. On the Raiders' first drive of the season, Rogier carried the ball eight times for 22 yards, including his first touchdown of the season. The junior tailback scored from eight yards out with three minutes and 41 seconds left in the first quarter. The PAT gave the Red Raiders a 7-6 lead. It was all Shelbyville the rest of the way, however, as they coasted to a 41-7 win. Coffee County's Rogier finished the game with 108 yards on 26 carries and a touchdown. The Tullamore Wildcats fell 34-13 to to McGavick in the season opener at Wilkins Stadium Friday night. After a scoreless first quarter, the Raiders struck for 14 points in the second, including a 59-yard pass, pass play with 126 left in the half. McGavick added a 40-yard touchdown run midway through the third quarter before the Cats got on the boards less than three minutes later on quarterback Justice Brown's nine-yard run. 
the Raiders came right back and removed all doubt about the outcome with two touchdowns in the final four minutes to take a 34-6 lead. Tullahoma added the final score with 628 remaining when Brown playing his first high school game at quarterback hooked up with Van Williams for a touchdown pass. Cody Morton's kick made it 34-13. to Tullahoma plays uh, host to Cookville next Friday night, or this Friday night rather, at Wilkins Stadium. We'll be right back with your weather forecast after these messages. Tullahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates and mugs. We're a Tullahoma treasure. We are Tullahoma Drug. Serving you as a local firefighter. Proudly served our country in the United States Air Force. Serving Tullahoma. Helping our kids. Hi, I'm Terry Stroop. Your comfort is our service. We'd like to thank Tullahoma for the privilege of serving your heating and cooling needs. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name's Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver's Smokehouse. Telehoma Surgery Center is Telehoma's newest and most complete surgical health care facility. The center combines state-of-the-art surgical care with efficient, affordable, and community-based outpatient service. The staff is committed to providing the highest quality care in a warm, personalized setting. The goal is to deliver excellent care and make your visit a pleasant experience. Telehoma Surgery Center, the area's premier surgery center dedicated to outpatient surgery. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1963 at 100 degrees. Record low was in 1991 at 53 degrees. Average high on this day is 87, and the average low is 66. For tonight, look for a few clouds in the sky with a low of around 60. On Wednesday, mostly sunny weather in the forecast with a high of 85 and a low of 60. And on Thursday, sunny weather remaining in the forecast with a high of 87 and a low of 60. 61. Jim, congratulations to the new uh, mayor and alderman at uh, Manchester uh, City. Uh, new new uh, folks took office tonight, so uh, big things ahead in the small town of Manchester. Two new aldermen and a uh, new mayor there, I think. Correct, and, and two incumbents were sworn in. Uh, okay, as well, same so. as the home, only not much change there. Not a lot of change. <clears throat> All right, that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.